Hello, I'm Dr. Sue Mortar, and welcome to The Short Answer. I am the founder and developer of uh, The Energy Codes and the founder of Mortar Institute for Bioenergetics and Healing. And we are here in Indianapolis uh, for our broadcast this evening, and we happen to have an amazing audience in the room with us, and they are here for the Summer Healing Retreat. And um, they, I can't believe they're sitting this quiet. They haven't been this quiet all day. So. Yeah. Yeah, I wish you could see my view. They are the light. You can see it shining on my face. They're so bright. And uh, it's been an amazing time together. We've had three days of a, of a small group treatment intensive prior to this, and we are in day one of the summer healing retreat. How was today? Was it okay? Are you good? Rocking? Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Pretty, pretty amazing. And, and so... Um, we are actually, we'll be having a summer healing retreat next year at this time, so you can plug into that if it's something that, if you want to sound like that, um, it is uh, certainly available to you to inquire about on the website. So uh, it is my great pleasure to bring the short answer to you every month, and it is part of our attempts to allow the world to understand another view of life, another way of looking at the life experience, and another way of being that allows us to be uh, more free in our daily engagements, in our relationships, be able to self-heal, be able to heal our imbalances and access our own creative genius and ultimately live our true magnificence. So that's a mouthful, but I tell you that it is available to all of us. It is something that is intended for all of us and it is something that I absolutely love sharing with the world. So if you're joining us for the short answer for the first time, what I do in this particular moment is go into some short little uh, memorable, hopefully, ditties that you can grab onto and access repeatedly just living your normal daily life. And if you are not a member in our membership um, community, you can see on the sheet in front of you, on the screen in front of you, uh, a place to click to come in and join us in the master class, which is following the short answer. And in the master class, we go into depths of answering all kinds of questions all at one time, stirring them together into a fantastic conversation generated by uh, our amazing group of people that are here live or that are online and, and sending things into us. Or occasionally, I also have a message that just really needs to be uh, succinctly carried through a, a conversation that I want to have with you. And so periodically I will have a master class just be about a single topic that we go into more deeply and that we explore some of the applications in life that can allow us to truly see life from another perspective. You know, really everything in your life is because of perspective. I'm talking about a dimensional perspective, looking at life from another dimensional version of yourself, not just thinking positively, not just saying affirmations and continuing to try to find ways to refine our mind, but rather thinking from the true soulful self, thinking from your essential self, thinking from the true higher self and allowing that vibration of this deep eternal truth of you to come out through your decisions and out through your engagements and, and express itself in your relationships and express itself when you're being asked to do something that your mind would say, I can't do that, I don't know how to do that, uh, to allow yourself to access, plug into and relate to a deeper version of you, the part of you that knows it's all okay, the part of you that knows that I got this. And sometimes it seems that it's been months, if not years, since we've had that kind of a feeling of, I got this, this is my gig, I can handle this, whatever it is that's about to happen, I'll know when I get there and I know that I'm fully equipped. So I'm constantly looking for ways to refine that awareness in you so that you're living from that place, that you don't have to try to find it and access it and go deep within to, uh, to connect with it, but it's actually that you're living on the inside and expressing out from that place of truth constantly in your life. Healing happens as a byproduct of that. Every level of your life heals when we come from the true soulful purpose for being here in the first place. So in the next few moments, I want to share with you the idea of flow. We were talking earlier and I asked the group, you know, what, would we, what should we talk about? What would she talk about and what should we talk about in the short answer? And the idea of flow came up and it, it clicked. And so I want to reference um, the idea of flow for you. I want you to, to remember that you are not an isolated entity in the world, in a box or in a, in a bubble. 
you are actually a stream of consciousness. You are a stream of energy, and the more awake to that fact you are, the easier it is for you to let go when it's time to let go, the easier it is to accept something new when it's time to accept something new, the easier it is for you to feel buoyant and possible and available in all kinds of circumstances. You feel like you're a yes when you are in flow. We are by design, as is everything in nature, to be in a constant evolution, to be in a constant state of evolving, of unfolding, of exploring and of allowing something even more beautiful to come up and out of us. But our mind has been so busy keeping us contained that we never get to come out above this thinking mind and experience ourselves in our true abundance. And if we were allowing this flow to flow, it would just flow. But the mind needs to know. And so it puts it into a compartment. Everything that we experience, every part of life gets compartmentalized. And then the mind starts to evaluate if this is the right compartment or if that's the right compartment. If I, if I'm, if I have the best compartment or if somebody else has a better compartment. And, and we start it, all of the, the ideas that lead to a feeling of separation and a feeling of anxiety because we're not living in flow. So in this moment, if you would just take a deep breath in from overhead, just take a breath in, breathe it into your body and just let it feel good just for a moment out of your whole day. Just let this moment feel good. And as you exhale down through the body and into the earth, know that you have just experienced a version of flow. There's an energy flowing through the body. And in this moment, if you could recognize anything that you're holding on to, anything that is tense, anything that is rigid, if you just release that, and then even deeper still inside the core of your body, if you would release that, find something that is even able to be let go of deeper within the core of your body in this moment, and then take another breath in from overhead, breathe it into the belly, past the heart space and into the belly, and then exhale down into the earth. And as you do that, you're experiencing an even greater flow. There is a waterfall, literally, a waterfall of energy, of lighted energy, high frequency energy, pouring into the human body system all the time, every millisecond. And so as that is happening, we're supposed to identify with it. We're supposed to feel it and sense it and be aware of it. And it has a smoothing effect down the back of your spine. So in this moment, if you take another breath in from overhead and let it exhale down your spine this time and think of it as if it's smoothing the feathers on your back, if it was just smoothing down your feathers. If you would automatically allow that to happen on a regular basis, you would actually be creating the sensory input to your subconscious that I'm in flow. Even if your mind is still busy trying to figure out the answers or to keep things from changing too quickly, even if all of that is still happening, if you will send the message to the subconscious at the same moment that I can breathe in this way and I can participate in this breath and I can let it feel good, if I'm constantly messaging in that way, I'm constantly establishing the idea that flow is good that flow is constant, that I'm a part of that flow. I'm connected to the flow. I'm going to show you just a picture here that we might be able to just take a moment here and see if you can see this. That's good. That works. So this energy is flowing down into the body. It's hitting the earth. It's being stepped down to what I call uh, ready for human consumption. And then it rises back up through the body. And it comes up through the body and it passes through various levels of energy frequencies that are related to your own consciousness. So my ability to feel like I belong happens if this energy can move freely through that area. My ability to remain in my own true self while I'm in relationship with you uh, without losing myself in the relationship has to do with flow happening through this area uh, equally and gracefully and easily. And as it moves into this area, it has to do with my ability to be me, even if everyone around me is doing something different. And I can celebrate the fact that everyone else is doing their own thing because I know how challenging it is to be myself. So I want to allow you to be yourself because I know how tough it can be in certain circumstances. And so as, as that flow moves up through the body even more, 
it reaches and passes through an area of great abundance, the human heart system. That heart system is allowing us to connect with unity consciousness, that we, we are all actually doing the same doing. We're all in the same story. We're all living the same path. And sometimes when we're in a stressful situation, it's nice to be able to be, have access to that kind of perspective because we can look across the desk or look across this, the room and see that the people who are causing us the most stress are actually also actually integrating their own flow. And so we share that in common. And when I can land on some kind of common feeling with some conflict across the room or across the desk or across the table, in that moment, I, I bond with them on this energetic level that happens to be the, the flow that is common to all of us. So as that flow continues to move up, I'm more easily expressing my truth and I'm able to have you speaking truth to me. I can hear your truth if I allow that same thing to be uh, flowing freely in the integration of my whole being. And as it rises up even further, it lands in the center of the brain where my ability to create what I choose and to perceive that that is applicable to me and that it can actually happen and manifest in this life at this time. I could, in fact, do anything, anything. If I'm allowing that to flow through this area, then great healing is happening as a byproduct. I'm living in possibility, true true possibility. And as it continues to flow and up out through the crown, I am in an integrative state that allows me to be one with, in, with, with infinite possibility. And as that flow comes around and cycles again and again and again, constantly being replenished, constantly rising up and circling and circling and circling, it allows me to see through this energy field in a clear way. But if I try to stop this flow, this flow is happening all the time. No exceptions. It is never not happening. The question is, am I allowing it to happen or am I resisting it? If I am in resistance to it in any of the topic areas, uh, plus many others that I've mentioned, um, if I am resistant to that flow in any way, there will be pain, there will be emotional uh, distortion, there will be a mental perception of a perspective that is not abundant, and life begins to spiral in what feels like a downward cycle. So the idea of living in flow has a direct and physical application. And uh, most importantly, I will say that we know that life is always changing. It's always offering up a new way of looking at things. When you find yourself saying, yeah, it just isn't quite like it used to be, the next thing I want you to say is, just like I requested, uh, and then the next thing I want you to say is hallelujah, because if it was, if any part of my life was trying to and successful at maintaining its exact same sense of identity throughout the course of my life, ultimately it would implode because all of creation is in this flow and that flow results in a bigger and bigger expansive state. And if I participate in that flow and identify as the one that is in motion instead of the one that's trying to put on the brakes and keep things the same, then I am available to allowing the infinite power of the universe to support me in all of the decisions and the projects that I'm engaged in. If I resist it, I'm, I'm up against a pretty potent uh, opposition. And the whole idea of flow is that we recognize that there is no such thing as opposition in our lives. That the whole idea of flow is to recognize that I am the river itself. If you're standing in a river and you look upstream, you can see things coming at you. You try to stop them from coming at you, but they stop right there and they stay in your environment forever. The thing that you were trying to protect yourself from being hit by actually stays in your environment because of the resistance of flow. Whereas if you just let it flow right through, it comes, it serves, and it goes, and it's no longer needed. So the things in your life that are continuing to agitate or aggravate, I assure you it is because you're holding on to something. Instead of being the river that flows itself, that is constantly rolling, you're trying to hold on to the banks and to what you've already known to be true. But if you will release, I assure you that, what comes next is better than what we were holding on to before. It can only ever expand. All we have to do is integrate. And in this short period of time, the best message I can give you about integrating is to stay in love. If you stay in love, 
stay in your heart in a manner that you can feel yourself in your heart squeeze your heart a little bit to make sure that you recognize that's where I'm supposed to stay focused if you'll stay there you will stay in flow and you will you will find it much easier to uh, to surrender to let go to release and to accept a new idea so there's my short answer to flow all right so we'll see you in a few moments we're gonna dive deep who knows what this crowd is going to come up with uh, for those of you that are in the community we have many many wonderful programs please check out our website for the calendar and the things that are available to you um, we are here in service so tune in in a few moments for the master class we'll see you then namaste